Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. In this video, I will share with you how to use external tool, which is one of the options for activities that you need to achieve blended learning. Um, I'd like to share an external tool that I find it very, very useful, which is called Padlet. Um, as you can see over here, this is one of the examples that I use in my class recently for ice breaking. So you can use it uh, for a lot of reasons. Maybe for them to give extra resources because you can simply add in links, you can add pictures, um, a lot of things that you can do with Padlet. Um, if you've already embed this Padlet in Putra Blast, they can just simply use it straight away from Putra Blast without going to the link. Let me just show you how. So if I just like click click anywhere and then you can see that this box will come up right and uh, you can just like straight away write something see in Putra Blast and you can add any attachment right so they can add in uh, links from website uh, YouTube whatever and over here they can share documents Okay, whether it would be in photo, videos, audio, document, whatever. And they can also take photos straight away. Uh, since my computer does not have any camera, so yeah, I can't take any photos at this moment. So this is very useful. I'm just going to delete it. Okay, so as you can see right over here, my students are like, sharing information about themselves and they can add in photos or whatever okay so let's look at Padlet I've already shared how to use Padlet for external tool the problem is Padlet has updated or maybe they have new looks that could be quite confusing for some people so let's have a look how to use it right so this is Padlet first things First thing that you have to do is just log in. Okay. So you have the option to log in with Google or Facebook or any other email that you want to use. Okay, I prefer to use use Google. Alright. This is my dashboard. I have several padlets already. If you just sign in, this dashboard will be empty okay but worry not in order for you to create Padlet look on the upper right you see over here the pink um, button click on that one new Padlet all right and this is what will come up right you can actually uh, edit this by pressing over here this screw over here see modify right so just write the title I'm just gonna um, go with ice breaking again because that's the only thing that I'm that I remember right now uh, share with us your name hometown and your future plans okay as you can see over here um, it automatically updates it over here all right and then there's the layout you want it to be in free form in grid or stream i would not recommend free form because it will layer with each other making it hard to find and to read so either go with grid or stream would be nice I'm gonna go with grid and you can change the wallpaper as well so over here they have like very green and boring look so you can click more and there's a lot of other layouts other wallpaper that you can choose um, this looks delicious <laughs> let's choose that one and then um, save right 
and icon you can also change the icon which will be over here right at the moment there's no icon but you can put any icon so I'm just gonna click with this sun see it's already there save it and uh, you can also show author name in post if they're already signed up with Padlet so it's up to you and if you notice over here there's like random numbers and alphabets at the back over here so they have Padlet.com my name uh, and then the random numbers and alphabets this is going to be a little bit hard to share and to be remembered so you have the option of changing this see under address the ones that will be permanent is uh, https slash padlet.com slash my name slash so that one will be permanent but you can change the ones at the back over here see um, I'm just gonna go with ice breaking too. All right, there you go. Click save. Just click save, and you can close it. So this is my Padlet page, All right? In order for my students to use it, they just have to click on it. See, and then something will pop up. This box will pop up, like I've showed you before, and they can write their names, their hometown, and their future plans, and they can also upload their pictures. So that's one way of doing it. So let's say um, I'm just gonna randomly write something. Okay, if they want to edit it, see the pencil over there. Yeah, they can just like click that one, and they can like edit. Okay, and if they want to upload something, add an attachment over here. They can add um, links from other websites, and they can also upload documents. Okay. So that's how you do it. I'm just gonna delete. Okay. Now, how do you want to put this page on Putra Blast? You have to go to Share. Okay. On the right top over here, Share. Click Share. And click on Share, Export, and Embed. Okay. And then, um, this view on mobile and share. So look under share, the second one, embed in your blog or your website. Click on that one. See over here, take your Padlet anywhere. You see all the HTML coding over here. This is what you want to copy and put it in your Putra Blast. So just click copy. Okay. And then let's go back to Putra Blast. I'm just going to go to one of my classes that has let me see. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to go with this one. Now, don't forget to turn editing on first, right? That's the first thing that you're going to have to do. And then, under any of the boxes that you choose, right? Add an activity. You want to click external tool and you will come up to this page. So I'm just going to write over here ice breaking. Spelling mistake. So once I'm done with the activity name, don't forget to click show more. Okay, and then usually by default it will be like this. When you click show more, it will be this box over here it's just like this so you want to have to click this one toolbar toggle click that one and then it will just extend down and then find this one you see that I don't know what sign that is but if you hover around it it will say edit HTML source so that is the one that you're gonna have to click and this box will pop out so you've already copied the um, HTML coding just now, what you're going to have to do is just paste it. Okay, paste it. 
and then you click update right so there it is already if you scroll down a bit see that's the um, the padlet that I just created just now okay don't forget to click display description on course page because if you don't it will not display on your course page all right now just click save and return to course and there you go that's the padlet just now now if you notice this padlet is kind of small probably you want to extend it up to here you can what you have to do is just click edit go to edit settings and then you go again to show more just now all right just above your padlet box right you enter a bit and then you write something um, maybe you just write please update this padlet by uploading the photos okay um, once you're done just click save and return to course there you go can you see it's much more bigger so now the students can just simply click in Putra Blast on the course page, see, and they can start filling it in. Or you can show this Padlet by using the link just now, this one, right? Show this in your class and ask them to update it straight away. They can just use their smartphones or tablet or computer if they have in the class. And Probably you will not have enough time to, you know, have everybody to up to to share the information because probably because of the slow Wi-Fi. So what they can do is just update it in Putra Blast. So you put it in Putra Blast straight away, so that it will not be gone. Okay. And basically that's how you do it. I hope this helps. Thank you very much.